Jason Bevel bets with daily fantasy sports apps and with friends in golf and NCAA tournaments. Anything else, he has to go to Vegas. Takes a lot to travel, takes a lot to stay out there, and if you're not very good at betting, you can lose a lot of money. He says the multi-billion dollar business should be brought into the light for safety reasons. Now it's in the shadows. Because I think whether it's legal or not, people are going to continue betting. The problem with that is that a lot of avenues are pretty sketchy at this point, whether it's offshore gambling or betting with an underground bookie. Some sports betting supporters tried to get Texas lawmakers to change their minds before. Texas Race Park and fantasy sports owners say they're pleased with the court's ruling and want to talk to lawmakers again. FanDuel and DraftKings spent nearly half a million dollars on lobbying last year, but their efforts fell short. If money was the deciding factor in not only, you know, the gambling expansion question, but really any, uh, you know, we'd have had casinos in the state a long time. Rob Kohler lobbies for the Baptist General Convention of Texas. He says sports betting would target the same people his data shows by scratch lottery tickets. People who already rely on government services like food stamps and Medicaid. Keeping poor communities poor. We don't believe it has a place in this state. While Texas lawmakers can expand gambling, the odds say they won't. Phil Prazen, KXAN News.